It seems it doesn't take long for Kaiser Chiefs fans to forget about the former coach. It was Atazwane. It came to Nzeki Mlife, but it seems like now there's no one else talking about Kaiser Chiefs fans talking about these coaches. But right now, I brought you latest news from a Kickoff Magazine when um, Nzeki Mlife is saying that um, Kaiser Chiefs, uh, the trophy drought at Najirena is affecting and the confidence of the productivity of new players. So what he's saying that is that lack of uh, trophies affecting uh, Kaiser Chiefs and the uh, players. And he also went um, on and say that uh, the lack of trophies affecting the young uh, and also the new players coming into the uh, team because you are brought uh, into the team with the hope that you will turn things around and win uh, trophies. And when you get there into the team, nothing changes the excitement of being a part of Kaiser Chiefs uh, that you uh, come and with the beginnings and uh, went down. So actually, uh, it's very clear that um, Zeke Mlife is trying to say that uh, the history of Kaiser Chiefs, we're talking about uh, the past, um, the history of past uh, nine, eight years where Kaiser Chiefs didn't get any trophy. It's affecting the new players and also the young players which are coming from the development side. That's why they're not continuing winning trophies. But with my own understanding, I can say something, guys, about this. I think Kaiser Chiefs, they have to find another uh, maybe strategy of uh, scouting players because some of the players they might be good at the certain club they are playing at as we saw even Tanzania being good at Captain City but right now it seems like he's an ordinary uh, player talking about um the likes of uh, Pule Mori uh he's I can't say he's a bad player but actually he's on and off talking about Asaf Mart he have been doing good at Skukun United even on the international team talking about Hugo Bros have been calling Yasaf Mart uh right left right and uh left right and also but right now it seems like there's nothing else and also it seems like his um performance uh, depreciates so i don't know guys what is really happening i think because she's marketing uh scouting marketing they have to do something they have to check the qualities of the player before they sign them they have to check even the philosophy of the player is he going to do something at Kaiser Chiefs? Does he suit at Kaiser Chiefs? Because I think that is the only problem where fans they will point a player and then Kaiser Chiefs just go and grab that player and come back and come and put it uh, on the squad and then he doesn't perform because he doesn't suit the play of Kaiser Chiefs or he doesn't even uh, match uh, the bridge of Kaiser Chiefs. I don't know, guys. That's my own opinion. I'll see you in my next lovely video. You can comment in the comment section and tell me what you think. Peace.